So here's how we're going to create our own timbre, your own personal timbre. As we remember from the chapter in our book, timbres are created by a fundamental pitch, could be any type of waveform, and then we add overtones. And depending on the frequencies of the overtones, and the amplitudes of the overtones that will determine how our timbre sounds. So here's how we do this in Audacity. I've created a sine wave at a fairly low frequency. I'm not going to say exactly which one because I don't want anybody, I want everybody to come up with their own fundamental frequency, but it's fairly low. I'm going to keep it under 100 hertz. So let's hear what that sounds like. I also want to make the amplitude not too high. So this is approximately 0.3. And the reason I'm doing that is because they're going to be adding other waveforms to it. And each time we add that, we have the possibility that those, eight, those waveforms will be in phase. And as we know, when we put two waveforms together, their amplitude is added. And so if we have two waveforms that are going into the high pressure area, that pressure is going to be, one's going to be added to the other. So I've created my waveform, my fundamental, and now I'm going to use a formula. You could do whatever if I, let's say, multiply it by 2.5 or multiply it by 2. And I'm going to keep adding frequencies using that same formula. If you want to do a random formula, that's okay too. And then each time I add a, a, a higher frequency, that's going to represent an overtone. And I want the amplitude of the overtones to go down. So each overtone is going to be a lower amplitude. By how much? Again, you can pick a formula and you can just use a calculator. You can enter the numbers into a spreadsheet, whatever you want to do. So for each waveform we add, it's going to have its frequency and its own amplitude. So you can see here, I've added my overtones and I've used the formula to determine what the frequency of each overtone is going to be. And I reduced the amplitude of each one by a little bit. So you can see um, that each waveform, the amplitude of each waveform is a little bit um, lower. So just to give you an idea, again, here's my fundamental. Here's the first overtone. And here's the second overtone. Oop. There we go. So on and so forth. And I use my formula, I can only get four overtones because the fifth one went above 20,000 hertz. So here's what they all sound together. So you can see it does get quite loud. So the next step is to combine them all. And just to show you, let me zoom in. You can see that they're all... I'm going to zoom in real quick and you can see that they're all sine waves. So in order to combine them into a single wave, what I want to do is go up to the select menu and say select all or you could use command A. Then on the Tracks menu, I want to say Mix, choose Mix, and then Mix and Render. I have two options here. I can Mix and Render, and it'll combine them all into a new one, or I can Mix and Render to a new track, thereby saving all my originals. I'm just going to click Mix and Render. And here's my combined waveform. Just to show you it sounds the same, here it is. And you can see by the amplitude scale here, 
that this goes up to 0.9, where none of my waves, the, the loudest one was 0.3. So let's zoom in on and see what the com combined waveform looks like. Does not look like a sine wave at all, does it? So there's my timbre. Now I want to give it an envelope. And how do we do that? Remember the envelope starts out with the attack, then the decay, then the sustain, then the release. Or it can just be an attack and then a release. So let's listen to my timbre. And I think I want kind of an attack and a release. So in Audacity, we have this tool right here. It's called the Envelope Tool. And when I click on that, I get these two lines, one on the top and one on the bottom. And what I want to do is I want to do a sharp attack and then quickly fade away. So how do I do that? Um, I click here um, somewhere. I want to sort of fade away maybe right here. And it creates a node. And if I drag that node, it'll pull everything down because it's not anchored to anywhere. So I have to create a node at the beginning. And now if I drag this one down, you can see what happens. So I'm going to do this. And then maybe I'll create a note at the end, and I can fade it out. Let's see what that sounds like. I might want to make it a little bit shorter. I can always go back, and let's move this. And let's see what it sounds like. And there's a timbre. I think I might want to shorten that a little bit. So how do I do that? Let's go back to our other tool. So I want to last this for maybe three seconds. So I'm going to click around the three second line. And drag over here until I get to the end. And then hit the delete key. And now what I'm going to do is use one of these tools here. It says Fit Project to Width. So I'm going to click on that. And it expands everything out. Let's go back to my Envelope tool. And let's click at the end. There we go. Fade it out to nothing. Let's see what this sounds like. And there's my timbre. So now it's your turn.